Hello again and welcome back to KNC Taxidermy. Remember to follow, like, and subscribe to our YouTube page as you follow on our with our journey. And we're finishing up this mount of the Oryx. And remember, we uh, got it on the form and did all our clay work and everything. And I, I showed you some, some of my techniques. Like I said, it's not everybody's, but this is what I do. Now here you can see as it starts drying, sometimes there's spots of hair that, especially where you sew, that start looking a little wonky. This was where it was shot. Now I'm assuming either they shot it from the front because the way that the trajectory of the shot looks like he shot, it must not been getting a profile shot. So he shot it from straight or he just shot far to the left or far to the left or right or whatever and shot in front of the shoulder. But my guess is that he got a heart or lung shot since it is dead from the front. He shot it from the front. So the bullet hole was in the up here at the base of the neck, front of the shoulder. Anyways, that's one of the holes, that bullet hole is what I sewed shut on. And on these shorter hair animals, you're going to, you're going to have, usually have this issue on your short hair animals. On your long hair animals, you're not going to have this issue. You're not even going to see it. But on my short hair animals, this is what I do. Now, this is what I had in the house. So this is what I've been using until it's gone. Then I'll probably get something else. But this is like a spray mousse. And you can use hair gel or McKinsey sells like a hair stay type hair gel that you can buy through the McKinsey catalog. But I just use the spray mousse that I had. You can either, and even some people I've seen just wet it down with some soapy water or whatever. But I just, I like to use this, this spray mousse that I have and I spray it on there real good. And then this is just a coarse brush. And you can even use a toothbrush or anything like that. This is not a wire brush because I want to be gentle with my hair. But I just kind of comb it kind of downwards shape it to make sure it's facing in the right direction for the most part. And then I'm going to do, this is why I saved my milk jugs. I'm going to take my handy dandy milk jug and I'm just going to kind of slide it, shape it and slide it in a downward position, just like that. And I'm going to pin that in place. Make sure you don't have any other hairs. See, and I, and what's nice about the milk jug is I can see through that. I can see how those hairs are laying. See how they're nice and flat under there? And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my T-pins and I'm gonna pin this into place. And that's gonna sit there and dry with the form as it's drying. There's no need to rush that, just let it sit and re reshape those hairs. Um, get them back into position. Now remember, this is the next day after, after mounting this Oryx. So I'm coming back and I'm checking everything that I set. And it's, I can feel that everything's already feeling, starting to feel firmer and really starting to adhere. Now I'm going to start checking for any little imperfections or what have you that I want to fix because it's, my clock is starting to tick. My clay is setting and drying. So, and my glue is drying underneath. So I want to come through and make sure that everything's pressed in and my glues, there's no tenting. I'm going to just run my hands over the whole form and make sure all those lines that you know we had sanded into this form you can see and remember we put some here to some of this plastic here to make sure that that doesn't tent up really on these nice deep lines so that that muscle that muscle structure really stands out so now this this side was my trouble lie so I'm going to show you how I'm going to come back now that it's stiffer the clay is not as wet. It's going to be easier for me to manipulate 
this eye and get it back into place, get it where I want it. And I'm just going to go ahead and start kind of working it a little more and it's going to stay where I want it. And then I'm going to pin it when it's exactly how I want it. I'm going to pin it into place and I'm going to let this puppy dry. And then of course, if there's any kind of, if there's any something where you need to rebuild and where there's kind of the skin was cut or torn a little more, say if I want to close that eye a little more than it is, I'm going to come back once this is dry. I'm going to come back with Magisculpt and run all along these edges any to make any edges anyways to make sure I have a nice tight seal and that this skin over time as it down the years as it as it's hung up God knows where because I don't know where it's going to be hung whether it's a humid area or a dry area over the years this may continue to flex on the form and I want to make sure these areas like this especially do not pull away from the form with time. So all my joints around the eyes, around the lips, and around the nose, I'm going to use my Magisculpt and I'm going to, of course that's going to be another video in itself, but I'm going to show you how once this is dry, how I make sure I put a thin edge of that Magisculpt in all these seams so that they don't separate over time. But I'm going to wait till it's, I'm going to wait at least a good couple weeks until this is good and dry before I do that. But as you can see, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to kind of close up this eye a little bit more right here. I don't want that as open. And I'm always going to be mindful of my eyelids that they're turned the right way. You want them turned down. I'm going to pull, actually pull that down just so I don't want them too bug-eyed. And I'm actually going to take a pin and because I want that to dry. I don't want that to pull away as it dries, as it starts drying. take up this pin here and adjust that. So I'm actually going to come down a little bit more on the bottom. Make sure that eyelid, the flat part of your eyelid is turned down. And I'm going to, as it dries, I'm going to keep coming out and touching that up and making sure, keep working it and making sure it's where it's supposed to be. Make sure nothing's moving on me. I don't want to mash, overwork it and crush all my clay that I've put in for my detail. So that's something you want to be mindful of too. Now I'm going to come back in with my pen. And some, sometimes you can even go ahead and use your tack nail and tack that down. But I want to make sure I go ahead and get that into place. But... Like I said, as it dries, this is something I'm going to come back and keep working on and adjusting. But for the most part, I'm just showing you. And then I'm going to take my butter knife, too, and make sure that my, while I'm over here, make sure, just go over the seam and make sure everything's staying nice and tucked the where I want it. Make sure nothing's popping out. It all looks good and tight. You don't want to walk away from this form once you get it mounted and then come back and want any surprises and be like, oh crap, I did not notice that that eye was bigger than the other one or that 
lips started popping out as it was drying. You don't, you do not want surprises like that. So you always want to be mindful of what your hide is doing in the drying process and, and see if you need to pin it somewhere or reshape something. And you always want to, okay, just don't walk and walk away and forget it. Okay. So I'm going to keep kind of fiddling with this, but you get an idea of what you're going to need to keep doing and making sure everything's staying in place. As I'm coming in and checking everything, I'm going to make sure I come and I can feel that my clay is already starting to firm up in there. It's not as wet as it was yesterday when we put it in there. And I'm just going to, my, my ear placement is pretty much stayed put where I wanted it. And I'm just going to go back and can, this is when you can come in and like put in those creases if you want to, or a little fine detail kind of work it a little bit um but while it's still just a little wet but uh this is pretty much gonna be the last time you can really because even after today it's really gonna you're gonna want to make sure these ears are where you want it because by tomorrow it's gonna be it's going to be dry enough to where I'm really not going to want to manipulate it anymore because I don't want to risk cracking and breaking it loose from, from where it's set. And, and you also want to come back in here, remember, our folds I'll lightly press in there and make sure that glue is grabbing hold of that cape, making sure everything's making contact and really working that. You know, you're just going to go and go in and check in everything. Uh, all your lines and all that stuff you sanded. I just go back and check everything out, and make sure everything's drying and setting where I want it to. Thank you for watching us here at KNC Taxidermy. Remember to like and subscribe us here on YouTube and join us next time for our latest creation. And we'll see you then.